Hey guys. All right. Well, I'm out in the shop today, and I'm going to knock out a quick project for my father-in-law. He's restoring a 64 T-Bird. Uh, he rebuilt the 390 that was in there, but he put a Edelbrock uh, Pro Flow 4 intake on there, and he upgraded the alternator. He's having an issue with the bracketry kit that he got for the alternator, and the belt's squealing. It's not really, it's not really tight. Uh, he sent me this photo. I asked if I could make him a a little bracket so this is the sketch he sent me and now uh, let's go into Fusion 360 and we'll draw this up and then we'll come back out and we'll do the machine well here we are in Fusion 360 and this is the alternator spacer that my father-in-law asked me to machine out now this is to replace some stacked washers that this bracketry kit had called for uh, he was having issues getting the belt tight, and it was causing some squealing, so he asked me if I could machine this uh, spacer, and uh, so I said, sure, why not? So let's take a look at uh, the overall design. Pretty basic. Um, it's an inch and seven-eighths, point one seven-eighths long, three-quarter inches wide. We're just going to basically knock these corners off here and here. And then on this side here and here, uh, we have two different height levels and a 7 16 hole here and a 3 8 inch hole here. Now this portion here is 1.72 tall and then this bottom section here is 0.55. So what I did first was I wanted to machine this bottom portion and then that way I could use this to clamp in the vise to remove this all this material up top. So let's take a look at that. So actually the first setup here is to remove this, these corners here. This is just an adaptive operation and then we're going to leave five, uh, leave a half a thousandth and then come back and finish that off with a contour operation. Uh, this is a 3 8 inch 3 flute end mill. Uh, 0.55 depth of cut, 4,500 RPMs, 20 inches a minute, and 40 thousandths width of cut. Didn't want to be too aggressive. I only got to make this one part. It's not like I'm in a production mode here. Uh, this top portion here, we have some facing, some drilling, uh, pretty much the identical adaptive operation except for the fact that we're doing 1.25 depth of cut. So let's take a look at that operation. Pretty straightforward. All right, so let's go out to the Precision Matthews and we'll Take a look at how it went machining this out. All right, so you can see how we drew it up in Fusion 360. Uh, one of the pieces here is just a little .56 spacer, and then now we're going to machine out the little figure eight piece. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the bottom side first. simple work of that. So now I'm going to turn it up right side up. We'll reprobe it and we'll do the top side. All right.
right, we've got it turned over, probed, and set up.
pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Well, all right, guys. What you didn't get to see in the video footage was drilling this long portion here to 7 16th. Somehow I lost that video footage. But that wraps up the video. Uh, the part turned out really well. It solved the squeaky belt problem, and my father-in-law was real happy. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button. When I post a new video, they'll send you a link, and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, Peace out.